Hi, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Lede and I'm the creator of this channel, Love Always Lede. And on this channel, I just like to share my peaceful homekeeping journey and how I'm just trying to feel more peaceful in my home while also taking care of my family of six. Um, so I feel like since I talk about peaceful homekeeping so often, it can be very easy to assume that I just have things all figured out and that I'm just thriving on the program. But just like everyone else, I have issues that I'm trying to work through and I'm always trying to figure out how to tweak and make the system work better for me. With homeschool starting, I've just been having a lot of challenges. So I'm gonna take you along a typical day with me, well, typical now, and I'm just trying to work through the kinks of my program and figure out our new normal. So I have about five minutes until my first class. I had a really, really hard time waking up today. Even right now, I don't feel um, completely excited to be awake at four something in the morning. Usually I would have time to get coffee, but my morning routine is kind of thrown off a little bit, so I didn't have time. So I'm going to try to get through this class. Uh, luckily I have a break, so I have a class, I have a break, and then I have another class. So during that break I'll run down and grab some coffee. So while my coffee was brewing, I decided to go ahead and unload and load up the dishwasher. I know that that's part of my morning routine, so I figured I would go ahead and knock it out. Right here you see me doing a combination of my morning routine and I'm also working on my weekly home blessing. I've been trying to squeeze in this little task in the morning before my kids start school at 7.55. After I do my routines, I sit with the boys and help them with their schoolwork. And my mom-in-law is here, so she helps me keep up with the girls so that I can focus on the boys. Okay, it is around 11.30ish, and I am taking a small break in prepping lunch so that I can go ahead and change sheets and stuff. On Mondays, that's when I do my changing sheets and wiping down toilets and stuff. Yippee! So for my bedroom, I already did it this morning, and so now I'm just going to do the boys' room. Um, like I said, I know that I can do this in less than 10 minutes. Also, their room is starting to fall apart, so usually I will tidy up their room during this time after I'm done, and then usually when I vacuum, I tidy up their room at that time so that it doesn't get too crazy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So here, this is part of my weekly home blessing task, changing sheets, and ideally it should take about 10 minutes or less per task. So this is something I can totally do in less than 10 minutes. So I just like to use the extra few minutes to just tidy up their room since this is, their room is not part of my morning and evening routine. I usually like to keep my morning and evening routine focused on like downstairs and the higher traffic areas. And it seems to be enough to just go ahead and touch it up whenever I'm working in their room for my weekly home blessing. And here I'm just going to go ahead and wipe down their toilet and make sure it's nice and clean for the week. My son was just saying how clean his room was and I was like, I know because I cleaned it. Okay, so routines are done, and kids are sitting here eating. Everybody's eating. Hey, hey. Um, so I'm done eating. The secret says he's done. So what I'm gonna do is I need to create like a schedule. Like I have, y'all know I have like the biggest issues with planners because pretty much when stuff happens, like I don't know, school starting, virtual homeschool. Um, my planner needs change, like what I need changes. So what I'm gonna do is try to design a planner while the kids are eating. I need to be able to see my routines that I need to handle, my schedule, like things I need to do on a daily basis. Plus I need to be able to keep track of all the Zoom calls um, that the kids are responsible for jumping on throughout the week and a place to put their assignments and stuff like that. 
And so um, I'm going to try to design something. I'm just going to use Keynote on my Mac after that. Hopefully I'll be done before the kids go back to class. So, so I'm just kind of making a rough draft of what I would like to see here in Keynote. And then I'm going to print it out and just kind of test it for the next couple of days and see what needs to change. After I printed it, I already saw several mistakes that I made and even now there's still stuff I need to fix, but um, I feel happy being able to see everything in one place. That just gives me so much calm. You guys, I'm like hanging out. Um, getting ready to get a whole bunch of this stuff and try to fill it in, but I'm like in a really bad mood today and I don't know. Am I allowed to vlog when I'm in a bad mood? I just feel like um, I'm still in my transition period in terms of getting us all set up with virtual school. And usually that's just how it is, like periods of transition it can feel stressful because you're it's not your routine and you're outside of your norm. But in addition, like my twins have decided that they are boycotting nap time, that I'm running downstairs, I'm doing routines. Like my kids really need me and my support right now with homeschooling and then the girls don't want to take a nap and then as soon as they do get quiet it's time to cook and then I'm trying to stay on top of my routines which those are not problematic. Those are like 10 or 15 minutes and they make me feel it makes me feel good when the house is full together and then it's time for everybody to eat and I gotta clean up from that. As soon as I'm done with that it's time to go back to class and Every week it feels like they're just adding more and more and more stuff for us to do. And they literally, I feel like they send us correspondence like we're the teachers. Like, it's mandatory, make sure every student is doing that. And I'm just like, <sighs> every week we add like two, one or two new Zoom calls that we're responsible for. And I'm just trying not to like get overwhelmed with the information overload plus you know, when school starts, I'm used to actually having more free time and like, I just feel like, um, I don't know, like, like so much of me is just being drained by this homeschool stuff. And so it's a transition, transition. So I don't know if I'm allowed to vlog when I'm in a bad mood, but I'm going to try to stick with it because I really want to try to get a vlog out. I feel like vlogs make me feel better. to 8,000 because it's a little more. Alright, good. And not 8,000. 80,000. So we got finished doing all of my boys' assignments around 3 o'clock and one thing that I just felt like I really needed was just to go outside and have some time to myself, just a little bit of quiet time. Um, I don't know, I'm just like one of those people who I become re-energized when I have a moment to just like think about what I want to think about or hear my own thoughts and so I knew that I needed to like get my energy up and get ready for the next part of my day which is basically doing the things I would normally do cooking doing my routines and you know just taking care of the house and my family so I thought that this would be a good way to just kind of get me energized and motivated to do the next thing that I needed to do. And so I'm just eating some Raisin Bran Crunch. Um, yeah. The baby? Yeah, so we're just going to take a bath. <laughs> we're just going to go ahead and get some bath done for the night and then we're gonna go ahead and eat dinner and I'll clean up from there. Um, one thing that I think I'm seriously going to plot out either tonight or tomorrow is I'm going to add a routine. So I know I have my main routines, my morning, my midday reset, and my evening routine. 
But um, one thing on Fly Lady that she recommends having is a before bed routine. So that's a fourth routine. I think that I'm at a point where I need to use it. Um, Cause I need to think about what can I do today to make tomorrow run smoother for me? Because I'm used to having time in my day to like get stuff done. And, uh, but since we're doing virtual school, like literally I feel like I'm, my attention goes to homeschool as if that was my job. Like I'm sitting with my kids from seven or eight o'clock in the morning until three o'clock. And then obviously we have like a break in between there. But during that break, I have my own household responsibilities that I'm supposed to take care of. So what I'm gonna do is start thinking about how can I set myself up for success in the evening so that just the day will go by smoother because I feel like, for example, I'm just throwing this out there. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But for example, if I had meals already prepped and ready to go, then I wouldn't have to cook during that break. <laughs> If I um, did my task, if I had already handled my zone cleaning and did all that stuff the night before, then that means I won't have to do it during the day. And then if for some reason I can't do it at night, at least I know that I have space in my day to get it done. Um, if I, you know, if I'm just trying to think like what little things could I do in the night that could just be like another 15 minute routine for me that would just make my day smoother. Um, yeah. So I think I'm just going to just, y'all know, I'm just trying to continue to tweak because I know as, as many things about the situation that feels like such a negative, just bummer. Like there's just so many things that's just so annoying to me about this. And hopefully I will settle on a new routine that works, that works out a little better. So, um, what are you doing, mama? Are you eating that grape? She just has so much food on her face. But anyway, that's it. Like I mentioned, we're going to um, do the baths, do bedtime stuff, get the kids fed. And um, I'm going to just do that. I'm supposed to be working on the peaceful homekeeping challenge. But you guys, I feel like you got to have energy for that. But I'm going to push through because I made a commitment to show up. So I'm really going to just try to get through these eight weeks and hopefully I don't like crumble and fall because I really feel like I just have no energy, but it's important to me to show up. And so I'm going to work on that and try to think of that new schedule to see if I can just give myself some relief during the day because it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. So. Is that your mouth? Is that your mouth? Show me your mouth. Janine, where's your mouth? Where's your nose? A nose. Where's your nose? Yeah? That's not your nose. That's your cheek. Where's your nose? So later on that evening, I decided to go ahead and do some zone cleaning. I went ahead and did it while my daughters were finishing up their dinner. Usually, I save zone cleaning for earlier in the day. I just like to get it done, get all my tasks done as early as I can. But obviously with virtual school, it was becoming a little bit harder. So I just decided to go ahead and experiment and see how I felt about doing it at night. And so here we are working in our living rooms this week. Living rooms and entryway because we're kind of transitioning from one zone into another. And so whenever I work in my living room zone, one thing I try to make a priority to do is to move the couch and vacuum and mop under the couch because it gets really dusty and uh, weird underneath there. So here I am holding uh, a cordless vac that I just bought. This is actually my second day using it and I love it. Um, I didn't get like the expensive name brand one, so I got like an off brand one. And I really like it. I think that it's more of a like glorified broom, if you will. It doesn't have the power that I need for like, you know, on my carpet and stuff like that. So I already have a powerful vacuum for carpets, but for hard floors, it, it's getting the job done. And since I have so much hard floor around my home, it just makes it easier because I don't have to like unplug and drag that cord around. So that's a nice little treat that I got for myself. and. Uh, it definitely speeds up the process and it makes my life easier. So um, 
I'm so glad I have it. And here you see me just kind of going around and just doing some finishing touches after mopping because I am notorious for leaving some crumbs behind. So I just decided that I'm going to try to use this method for a week. This, today I'm actually doing this voiceover the next day and I tried to clean again in the evening and it's not my favorite thing to do but if I have a good audiobook so far so good. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you guys will consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.